it's no secret that all of us are sitting here waiting for the reveal of the Nintendo Switch 2. It's maybe the hottest button topic going on with Nintendo right now, outside of one key thing, and that is Echoes of Wisdom releasing this week. That's right, we have a brand new Zelda game releasing this week, and don't worry, we have some content coming for that. We're going to be covering all the review scores and uh, a couple other aspects of the game as well. In fact, I already have uh, one video in the works probably going to be dropping tomorrow about Echoes of Wisdom, which, again, it's very hard to cover Echoes of Wisdom right now just because, hey, the game is now fully leaked publicly. It's on a whole bunch of servers right now. People are emulating it, and it, it's kind of wild out there. It's the wild, wild west. It's been data mine, so it is very hard to talk about that game right now without spoilers just existing. However, I do have one spoiler-free video that deals with some stuff Nintendo talked about uh, that I think will be a lot of fun, hopefully for tomorrow. Again, kind of depends on how the newswire goes. Maybe it ends up getting delayed and or canceled or maybe saved uh, for later because I do have another Echoes of Wisdom video idea besides that one that I can maybe lump it into with for launch day, which, yes, we do plan to be live streaming the game on launch day. Now, that all being said, what I actually want to focus on here is the Switch 2 and the reveal. And because, hey, we all expected it to be revealed this month, and maybe it still will be, maybe it won't be. Maybe some of you guys are still the Team 2025, Team October, Team November, December, whatever, January, February, March, because we all know it's being revealed at least by March 31st, right? That's the latest based on what Nintendo has already put out there publicly. Of course, Nintendo could change their mind. Nintendo could delay announcing it, but that seems pretty unlikely considering that they said it all the way back in May. So we have some updates or at least some information that deals with the speculation on when this thing's being revealed. And it certainly seems like 2024 is a locked in thing. So anyone worried about it going to 2025, maybe should temper their expectations right now and maybe still lean towards it being in 2024, possibly October, because IGN's now talked about it. Uh, one of the most reliable Nintendo insiders we have today in PH Brazil is speaking up on it right now. Uh, and yeah, we have some other circumstantial stuff from Nintendo of America. So if you guys are enjoying all this content on Switch 2, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. We are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. Would be really neat. I don't know if we can get there before the end of the year, but I'm going to push forward anyways all right guys first let's dive into what the most reliable nintendo insider we have to date or one of the most ph brazil had to say when asked hey do you actually think it's going to be revealed this year because you know what no one's really asked him this question in a bit the last we really heard from ph brazil was earlier this month when he said it might be revealed this month it may be revealed in october uh, and then obviously all the stuff that he was correct about back in august dealing with all those different directs well Here's what happened over on Family Boards when Space Godzilla said, Do you personally think it will be revealed this year? Brazil said, I would be flabbergasted if not. Now, that is a word I haven't seen in a while. Flabbergasted. Pretty big emphasis there. I have had reasons to believe the reveal would happen this year since the February story, which the February story was the Nintendo Switch 2 delay and nothing has changed absolutely nothing has changed since the story and the sources he had back in february i get that people get their hopes up for this particular september week he's talking about last week for reasons that aren't nonsensical so hey he's not saying that you know those of us out there like me andres and others that were expecting it to be revealed last week were just not making any sense he's actually like no actually uh, there's a really good reason that people thought it was going to be last week it's still good reason, even though it didn't happen. So it said, Nintendo nor any credible sources, as far as I know, have made such promises. People seem to be getting upset over something that they themselves created. Haha, -ha, which is entirely true. Told you the whole time that September has been speculative. There's literally a new Zelda game next week. It'll be okay. And yeah, for us Nintendo fans, we do have a new Zelda game. If you're not into Zelda, then whatever. Like, if you're not into Zelda, Mario Party coming up, or Mario and Luigi 1, are you really a Nintendo fan? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Maybe Metroid's your thing. Maybe uh, Animal Crossing or Pokemon or whatever. Okay, I'm just yanking your chain a little bit. Obviously, I enjoy almost all of Nintendo's games, but not everyone is that way. Anyways, the point is, yeah, there is a new Zelda game this week, so Nintendo obviously has plans. Highly unlikely, I would say, for Nintendo Switch 2 to be revealed this week. It would be very strange, but then it would also fall in with what Ryan from the Bronx told me, uh, which if some people think that that person's Midori. I don't know. Uh, and what he told me essentially was, hey, man, uh, in case you're 
not aware, Nintendo's not going to follow their normal patterns or normal precedent and all of that stuff. So, okay, fine. Nintendo's not going to do what they normally do. Well, who else might be expecting a reveal very soon? Because we talked about obviously how I'm expecting a reveal, not this month in October. How about IGN, the world leader in, well, talking about video games, right? They are the biggest traditional video game website in the world. They did a podcast episode featuring, you know, a bunch of their senior writers and editors and co-hosts of various different shows, whether it's their PlayStation podcast, their Xbox podcast, or their Nintendo podcast, Nintendo Voice Chat. Seth Macy was on there. And what's interesting is they were talking about the Nintendo Switch 2. They, they also went into the PlayStation 5 Pro, but half the show was dedicated to Nintendo Switch 2 and just talking about when they expect it to be released. And they really landed on October. Uh, now, here's the thing. Seth Macy said that, you know, he expects it to be released because of a gut feeling hopium right that's what a lot of us feel however they then talked about how this is also somewhat based on an educated guess now educated guesses mean you have some information you just don't have the information so the information would be the exact release date when it's happening some information would be i've heard some things around about when it's going to be released so Quite fascinating. Now, they never elaborate on the educated guest aspect during the show, which is fair. Uh, you know, you have sources. You're not going to go into too many details on that. And it could actually mean nothing in the end. But IGN is the world's largest traditional video game publication. So I do think it's at least noteworthy that they do expect a reveal this year and to be relatively soon. As I said, they brought up October a lot. Now, this next part of the video is kind of weird because you can argue this is entirely circumstantial, but I kind of think Nintendo knows what the hell is going on. In particular, I think Nintendo of America is well aware of what's going on. And on September 19th, which was the popular date that a lot of people thought Switch 2 may be revealed, they ended the day with this tweet. And uh, they posted this tweet, as you can see, my time, 11 p.m. Central Time, which is way later than they usually tweet and that's because there were still people awake at 11 p.m hoping for a late night announcement that could happen a little bit during the japanese business day which you know not an entirely crazy thing to think because 11 p.m is smack dab within the japanese start of their business day on well you know friday so if there was any announcement that was going to end up happening on friday or any you know late surprise drop announcement that was going to happen you know here 11 p.m was about as late as it can go that's 9 p.m pacific which would be you know time zone for nintendo of america so it kind of all worked out where hey some people were still kind of up and waiting and on the hour every single day waiting for nintendo to say something and they ended it with this tweet saying sleep tight mario obviously a paper mario thousand year door reference but it was almost as if nintendo was saying hey guys uh no reveal today no reveal this week it's okay to go to sleep you don't need to keep up and keep checking your phones every hour for notifications you see our, our friend paul gale responding necro felipe from universal nintendo uh you know you, you see people talking about you know, for a new announcement tomorrow uh wake up it's time to reveal the switch too over and over and over again throughout the comments you'll see lots of references to switch Two and other stuff uh you know, look, Nintendo of America is not oblivious to what's going on online. You guys remember way back in the day when they posted the On Fire Chibi Robo thing and the Direct wasn't even announced yet? They were well aware of what was happening on the internet, and the Chibi Robo On Fire thing turned out to be a reference to the next Nintendo Direct. So uh, Nintendo is very acutely aware of what's happening online, at least Nintendo of America. Whether Nintendo of Japan's paying attention, I don't know. They probably are because they've talked in dev interviews how they do see the fan feedback online. So they're paying attention to content creators. They're paying attention to forums. They're paying attention to Twitter and, and you know, all the other various social medias out there. So the way I look at it is this. I don't know when the Nintendo Switch 2 is being revealed any more than you do, right? We all have our Hopium. We all have our Team 2024, Team 2025. In fact, we actually did a recent poll on Team 24 versus Team 2025. So I'm actually, I wanted to get the temperature in the room. After a lot of people now don't expect it to be revealed in September, there's some people that just don't expect it to be revealed at all. So I ran this poll, and when you look at it, you can kind of see that it's very much still Team 2024. According to this poll, which has you know only 2.4 thousand votes, not the most amount of votes, but 75% uh, of my audience, at least, expects it to be revealed in 2024. So 
That is, you know, three out of every four of you is expecting it this year, which falls in line with what IGN was saying, falls in line with what PH Brazil was saying, and falls in line with what I've been thinking this whole time. Even if it's not revealed this month, it's likely going to be revealed in October. I mean, maybe I've been foreshadowing that by starting my spooky stuff, you know, early, right? We have all our Halloween decorations in here and fall only just begun. And we actually had this up at the end of summer. So you can argue maybe I was foreshadowing that it was going to be October by getting my decorations up. But what I will say is I'm not stupid, guys. Uh, we got to clarify a couple things in this video. One, uh, I never made a bet that it was going to be revealed on September 18th. I just want to clarify that. I always said that was my gut feeling that it would be revealed September 18th. My bet is the hot chip challenge bet was for a reveal in September. I think I've made that very clear this whole time. I've been saying it all month. I said it before the month began. A hot chip challenge bet was being made that it would be revealed this month. And once we get past, you know, the 30th, and if it hasn't been revealed that's when you can start yelling at me about not completing the hot chip challenge yet. I've seen a number of comments being like, uh, hey, it wasn't revealed. Where's the hot chip challenge? Oh, he's wussing out on the hot chip challenge. I ain't wussing out on anything, guys. The hot chip challenge will be happening. It's just not happening right now because we're not done with the month of September. Now, if you want to know when the hot chip challenge will happen, if it's not this month, Look towards our podcast episode on October 9th. And you might go, well, Nate, why not the podcast episode immediately, immediately after this, after, you know, we get past the 30th. And all I can say is, well, I did order the hot chip. I might not be here in time. So uh, the plan right now is October 9th. And it'll be me and Eric doing it. Maybe even a special guest coming on to do it as well that I was talking to yesterday, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. All I know is I'm very excited about the possibility of the Switch 2 reveal. And if I have to do the hot chip and entertain everybody, it'll be all right, guys. It'll be all right. Prime over here will take one for the team. I'll take one for Team September. We'll move on. And hopefully Team October ends up being correct. Now, before I sign out after talking about that hot chip challenge, I got one more thing I want to show you guys. So if you guys remember, uh, we had that Chinese person who 3D printed, uh, you know, a, a mock-up model of the Switch 2 and did a size comparison. Well, thanks to MJ or over on Fami Boards, he made a correction to it that I think is worth looking at because the Chinese YouTuber did state that the screen size was not correct because she didn't have a big enough film to represent it. And she showed on screen, you know, the approximate what the screen size is supposed to be compared what her model is but it was just like a red box well mj are created this and i think this thing looks incredible i think this shows a really great look at the actual scale and bezels or likely bezels of the switch 2 and to me it just looks really clean like if this is what switch 2 looks like honestly i can get behind it so um i just wanted to throw that out there to towards the end i don't know you guys let me know what you think about it down in the comments below i am nathaniel rubble Jans from nintendo prime as always i'll catch you guys in the next video